Welcome back to another exciting episode. Today we're going to be talking about KlingAI.com, the Chinese AI video generator that's taken the world by storm. Let's dive in. Okay, so first of all, to get access to it, there's going to be a link in the description below. Uh, if you search Google for it, it might take you to some weird Chinese website. Uh, I've been down some rabbit holes. Okay, so just click on the link, and then what you're going to do is you're going to want to sign in. Basically, they just ask for your email address. They don't You don't have to have a phone number or anything like that now. Um, I'm using Google, so I don't know if, I don't think it's um, automatically translating it. I think it was it just popped up as uh, all English. So the other site had to translate it, so that does give you some reference there. Okay, so once you get signed in, you'll notice up here to the right, you get 66 credits. Now that is 66 credits uh, every 24 hours, but it does take 10 credits to, to generate a video. I'll show you guys, I did a video yesterday, and I will just show you just a little snippet of the video. This is from a, a image to video. So this was a shot that I used in another video uh, talking about Google you, uh, making AI uh, lab rats. So, and the prompt was the brain is spinning, the mice start running. Now, granted, uh, the brain doesn't spin, Google spins behind it. Uh, but I do like how each individual mouse is doing some form of work here. Uh, except for this guy, these two guys back here, they're not moving around. But all the other mice are really, look, they're busy bees, man. That's pretty cool. Um, so let's close out of that and let's just try to generate some images. Uh, it is a little slow at generating them. So let's just go to, go back to the dashboard. You can see here. The general layout is kind of like a mid-journey layout where uh, you, you see a bunch of users videos it does do uh, images as well and up here it says images are powered by colors with a K and then the AI videos is powered by clean and if you'll notice here there is going to be a video editor I don't know if that's gonna be a good editor or a bad editor I don't know anything about that um, so let's click on video and we can just do a prompt. So what do we want to say here? Okay, so let's do for the prompt um, a, I'll click on here, just gonna click on the prompt, a uh, vintage, I'll see, I'll do a 70s Muppet playing bass guitar. And Let's see, I don't think we need any hints. Okay, so the, it has, if you notice down here at the bottom, when you scroll up, you've got creativity, it's 50%, and then relevance, so you can go make it more creative, or you can make it more relevant to the prompt. And I think we're just going to leave it at 50%. And if you notice, there's a high performance with the five second length, and then the high quality is not, you can't click on it yet. It's, it's coming soon, and I think the initial 10 second length will be coming as well. Uh, and you, but there you can click on the frame ratio. So you got 16.9 or 9.16 or one by one. So we'll do 16.9. And then also what's really cool feature is that you can adjust the camera movement. And down here you could do horizontal, vertical. There was a picture showing up, uh, zoom, pan, tilt, and roll. So, and it does say here that if you don't pick something, the, uh, AI will try to uh, match what the prompt is. So if you're saying, you know, a zoom in shot of, you know, a uh, Muppet playing bass, then it will try to do that. And then it has options for negative um, prompts down here too. So uh, and it's got some examples, but we're just going to go with that. And if you'll notice here, the generate costs 10 credits. So you're not going to get um, a lot of generations, uh, you know, per day. And up here it says getting ready for a subscription program. So it definitely will be a subscription model, just like Runway or Midjourney or all of these uh, Luma Labs. Um, I hope it's cheaper than uh, Runway because Runway, I feel like, is pretty expensive for what you get. Uh, Luma Labs is more like, you know, if I feel like you get a better value with Luma Labs. Okay, so let's try a image to video. So we're going to go back to videos here. And right here, we're going to click on image to video. 
Uh, if you see an option here that's not available yet, but that is going to be uh, cool, a lot like Luma Labs, uh, basically a keyframe. Uh, so add an image, you can just click on here. And if you'll notice here too, hold on, let's, let's cancel that. Uh, it needs to be a JPEG or a PNG file up to 10 uh, megabytes with a minimum dimensions of 300, 300 megapixel. So let's go down through here and grab this particular fellow here. Now, I'm going to have him eat a hamburger. So let's uh, see if that works. A cheese. Okay, for this, we're going to do the setting relevance uh, as high. And obviously, we can't do anything else with anything else. So we're just going to leave the camera movement alone. Uh, we cannot do a camera movement for disabled. It's disabled in image to video. All right, so we'll go ahead and click on that. That'll be 10 credits. And it looks like over here, our Muppet is done. So let's check him out. Not bad. Uh, bass has four strings. Kind of looks like a Fender Squire, maybe. I uh, can't really read that. Definitely looks 70s. He's playing the bass. He's not doing a lot of finger movement here, but he is playing it and sliding up and down. So that's really cool. And here, if you click on here, you have an option to... You can download it. Uh, you can report it and delete it. You can favorite it and thumbs up and thumbs down it. So... Let's uh, let's go back to my assets and see. Okay, so when you click on this, it shows you the prompt, which is you know the '70s Muppet playing bass guitar, the mode, which the, the video ratio, the creativity, relevance, and the mode high performance length is five seconds. Okay, right now the edit button is a little glitchy. It's not when right now it was taking you me to another page earlier. Or last night but it's not showing me that page right now if you click it it just takes you to uh, log in that's what it's been doing for me anyway yeah so I'm not really sure what's going on there a little glitch a little bug, bug they got going on okay so it looks like uh, Rick is done so let's click on him nice I go look like he went for a second bite and he pulled the sandwich out of nowhere he's a magician That looks pretty uncanny. Like it's, I mean, his eyes close. He like he takes a hearty bite out of it. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder if let's play around with being more creative. So let's uh, let's go back to AI videos. I feel like it did a really good job with the image to video prompt. I don't have a lot of images on my thing here. Let's see. There we go. What should we do? Okay, so we've got Lord Helmet and Colonel Sanders you eat ice cream. I do like too the prompts can just be pretty basic and you actually get decent results out of it. So while we're doing that, let's try to do another text to video where uh, let's do hmm, big foot plays skateboards. in New York City. Okay, now we'll do the creativity all the way to the left and let's try camera movement this time. So we're going to do we'll do a zoom. Looks like when you click on it, you have an option. I guess how close you want it to zoom into. So let's do a zoom. That way, minus 10 zoom. 
so it kind of zooms in on Bigfoot and maybe I'll add that uh, camera zooms in on Bigfoot's face all right we'll see what that does one nice thing is you can have multiple generations going at once I'm gonna go back to the dashboard and show you guys some uh, really neat things that I've seen on here so far like this one here and you can clone and try it too. to see that carefully pour the milk into a cup the milk flows is smooth the cup is gradually filled with milk milky white very cool very realistic looking uh, you can clone and try it um, they're, now, I do know they're having video extensions coming. They're just not here yet. Uh, let's check out this one here. There's a huge mirror pyramid in the desert, and the mirror reflects the surrounding desert environment. Yeah, I mean, that looks okay. Um, oh, here, we can separate the videos from the images. Let's do that. Here's a horse. The wind blows its tail. That wind's definitely blowing its tail good. Of course, it looks like it's eating. There's windmills in the background, which is <laughs> kind of funny. Oh, let's do I just saw Twister. It's a great movie, by the way. I loved it. Uh, if you like the original, this one is not like the original yet. Has pays a lot of homage to the original. Let's see what this cute cat's doing. The cat wearing an astronaut helmet close up with blue space in the background. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and try to do a tornado okay so it looks like the um you got your videos over here it looks like the space balls one is done <laughs> look they're speaking chinese i wonder what they're saying that's hilarious. Okay, I wonder what that's interesting though. Okay, does anybody speak Mandarin? Let me know what you say. Look here. It says ludicrous speed. It recognized the film. <laughs> wow. That's fantastic. Okay. Let's click on this one here. Okay, this was the oh my goodness, that is terrifying. What is that? Is this supposed to be Bigfoot? <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, I mean, the city looks pretty cool. Huh. Okay. I definitely think it does uh, better with the with people than it does uh, when you just type it in something. Uh the space ball one's kind of it really cracks me up and he pulls up an ice cream cone that's kind of wacky looking i forgot to point that out definitely some neat stuff there let's get this last video um uh, go back to the dashboard while that last video is creating and let's look at uh maybe a couple more videos maybe we might some find something funny um Oh, here's a boy eating pasta. Look at that. So realistic. That looks great. Child eating dumplings. And this is the one that uh, was on the uh, app page with the panda playing guitar. The dog swimming. Look at that. That looks great. Man, it really looks like his paws are, you know, really trying to move through the water. That is insane. Uh, snow falling. It's impressive, but it looks like just a photo. Huh. Definitely some insane stuff. Here we go. Astronaut base. I mean, talk about some cool B-roll. You could totally, if you were doing an independent film... Make some really amazing B-roll with this stuff. Okay. Let's see if mine's done. 
Okay, so we finally got the tornado video down. Let's check it out real quick. Not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed in this. It looks more like smoke. Um, it is sending some debris down and it is tearing through the barn. So I was like, okay, let me just try to rephrase it. Maybe it was something I did wrong. So here's the new one. And it got a little crazy on me. Um, still does not look like it's twisting here. It kind of does there. Uh, looks more like it's just kind of coming down and not spinning. Um, the explosion was a nice touch. Uh, you could definitely use this in a in a B row. You know, it's 720p, so you you know would obviously need to upscale it uh, and get rid rid of this uh, clean AI stuff here. But um, yeah, I mean this one this prompt here was fast tornado spinning violently, ripping through a barn, dark cloudy skies, lots of wind and junk floating around the tornado. Um, there it, it does some of that i do wonder i'm out of credits though i do wonder if um if i'd have put a picture of a tornado i could have made it hit a barn that way or a tornado in front of a barn i don't know but anyway so my final thoughts on this are is i think it's amazing i'm so happy that it's finally available in the u.s and uh it says worldwide but i'm not sure i guess it depends on some co uh, countries let uh you know let you do china stuff and some don't so i'm not real sure about all that uh, but uh, go try it out. Tell me what you think. Uh, leave some links to some videos you guys are making. I'd love to see some. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's definitely, definitely amazing and a mega competitor. I hope that the price range is fair. Uh, so that's what I've got. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support. Leave a comment below if you liked uh, some of these videos. So thanks for watching. Till next time.